Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Courtney and I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. If you're not new, thanks for coming back. It always means a lot to me. If you like this video or if you haven't subscribed, uh, please hit those little buttons below. There's a subscribe button and a little thumbs up button and those two will definitely mean the world to me as well. So uh, just to jump in, this is another bins versus stores video. A little bit different, more of a review of a new location that I had never been to. And uh, so I have my notes on the store. I also have projected uh, or expected uh, sale price per item. This is a very small haul. I went down to meet some of my San Francisco friends who were going to Disneyland. I went and met them for a meal. I wasn't gonna go to Disneyland with them just due to having too much work and I'm not a big Disney fanatic. Uh, but I did want to see them and since I it's been like a year since I've left San Francisco and so I went down to Anaheim met them for breakfast and on my way home I decided I would stop at a new location which was the Goodwill Marketplace it's in Santa Ana California also known as Orange County and uh, I have heard mixed things on it I haven't really seen much on the location uh, but I thought I, I didn't have much time. I wanted to get on the road so I could get home But I thought well, I'll stop and I'll check out the bins for an hour And then I'll check out the store for an hour and see what I can find. So with that I spent about approximately an hour at each. They're all it's all in one location just separated um, I spent nine dollars and thirty six cents at the bins and I spent thirty dollars and ninety six cents at the store the bins were actually more expensive than LA. They were $2.49 per pound and they were way smaller. I'm going to insert in a little uh, footage of uh, the walk into the bins. So as you can see right there, uh, that's that's just walking into the location. And then when you're actually in the bins, which I didn't want to take too many uh, photos or film too much because I didn't want to get in trouble and I don't know their, their policy, but this is what it looks like just kind of in the bins from the checkout area. So as you can see there, I, uh, it was, it was small. It was small. It was kind of in this caged outdoor area. So it was actually kind of chilly and uh, not, not cold, cold. I mean, it's never really that hot in Southern California or cold in Southern California, but it was, it was weird. There weren't many resellers. If any, I didn't really spot any that looked like resellers. There were very few people in the bins and I had a, I had a hard time. It was a hard hour. I was expecting more, but with that said, I got eight items in that hour at the bins. None of them are huge money makers, but a couple fun finds. And yeah, so this first one is a Theory pink spaghetti strap blouse. And this isn't gonna be a big money maker, but it is a good brand that people search for. And I thought it's a really fun color, perfect for spring and summer coming up. So I'm hoping to get about only 15 to 20 for that, but we'll see. This was probably the only, well, there were a couple good things. This was a pair of Brag and Bone. I don't know what this four intermix means, if they had like a collaboration. So I was excited to find these just because I have sold a couple Brag and Bones. They tend to sell pretty well. The white don't do as well. So these are skinny and they're a capri length. I thought again, perfect for spring and summer. However, there is some marks on the back. It's not too bad. That's pretty much the only spots that I could find and this has already been washed. So I'm going to go ahead and soak it and see if I can get those out. If I can't get it out, I'm hoping to get about 25 to 35 for that. This one, honestly, couldn't find comps, couldn't find it. It's going to maybe be a hard one. But if you can see, it says goats, but it, the G is actually a little photo of a goat. And this is 100% cashmere and it's just this very oversized one size fits all. I think a short sleeve kind of sweater. I think this would be perfect with some black leggings for you know spring and fall. Just super soft, super comfortable, but I can't find this brand anywhere. And um, I, the RN number doesn't really tell me much, which I did look it up. So if you guys recognize that label, definitely let me know. 
If I can't find it, it's 100% cashmere, so I'm hoping to get about 20 to 30. If it is something and I find out what it is, it might be worth more, but this is my first time finding this brand. It's this little Hawaiian, it's Jams World, which I know a lot of resellers like. I think, I think, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this, but again, I like picking up brands sometimes to just do research. This had some spots on it, so I've already washed it. They didn't come out, so I'm gonna go ahead and soak this as well. If I can get those spots out, then I'm gonna go ahead and try and get, or hope for about 25 to 35. These pair of shorts, I probably shouldn't have gotten, but they're little running shorts. It's this brand Belief. So there's that tag. And they're lined inside. They're not gonna be worth much. Hoping to get um, maybe only 10 to 15. I mean, they're super lightweight, so they didn't cost much, but uh, I, I probably shouldn't have picked them up. This was a pair of J. Crew. The Marty pants, these are black, side zip, size 12, which is great. Kind of a ankle length, skinny or slim pant. Uh, I, I pass on a lot of Banana Republic and um, J. Crew and a lot of the kind of mall brands, but if it's a pair of pants that have, has a name or something like that, usually I'll pick them up if they're in good condition because those are those ones at least for me, I know in the past when I found a pant that really fit me well, I would go online and try and find more of them in different colors or maybe to replace. So this was a great size. The black is not too faded, which is really nice. So hoping to get probably about 25 to 35 for those. These, I was just getting to a point where I just needed to pick up stuff. And I think that's where my frustration was coming in. I wouldn't normally pick up uh, half of the stuff I got at the bins. These are cute. They're Tommy Bahama, size large, swim trunks, fully lined. Uh, they'll be perfect for spring and summer, for summer, but they're not, they're, the comps aren't great. You know, 15 to 20 is what I'm hoping for at best. So, and then this last item from the bin set side of it were a little pair of bikini bottoms. I don't, I, um, I don't actually find that many, that many, that much swimwear. I have found a couple of really good pieces. I mean, I find target stuff, but not the high end stuff. And I would kind of expect that in Southern California with everyone having pools and by the beach. Um, but this is a brand Vix and the designer's name is Paula Herm Hermani, maybe, but these aren't probably going to go for much, but they have sold on eBay, I believe, and hoping to get maybe uh, 15 to 20 for those. And it's again, going in the right season, they're lightweight. So with that, it was nine, uh, sorry, eight items at the bins. Um, if I were to get all of the prices that I just told you, I'm looking at about 145 to $205 in, uh, sale price. So that's not including the fees or the cost of goods, but, um, for an hour, not terrible. I just, I was, I was pretty disappointed in comparison to other bins that I've been to. So uh, I don't know if I'll take the extra hour and drive back there anytime in the near future. The store side was hands down the most, one of the most beautiful Goodwills I've ever been into. Hands down one of the most beautiful thrift stores I've ever been into. If you are not a thrifter, you would love this store. It is super clean, very well organized, color coded, uh, style coded, it's, 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 it's big. Um, and they did have a lot of good stuff, but their prices were, were higher than LA as well. And so I had to leave a lot behind because the comps just didn't match up. So I ended up getting four items. Uh, this is a pair of Lululemon, little black, I don't know the names of all the Lululemon stuff. It looks like these are kind of more of a high-waisted. This is the Lululemon on the back. The only thing I'm, I'm curious, and you guys let me know in the description below, I'll go on to Lulu Fanatics, but there's no little pocket in the waist, so there's no size that I can find. So if it's somewhere else, I don't know where it would be, uh, or if you if you know of anything about this, let me know. I know that there are fake Lululemon items, and I did go onto a couple sites to see if that was a sign that it was fake. I, I didn't see anything, but I'm always happy to take any comments below if you guys know anything. So if these happen to be fake and I can't resell them, um, they're in pretty good condition. They need a little bit of sweater shaving. They actually would fit me. I don't know the size, but I could just tell by holding them up that they're probably 
something that would I, I would be able to wear. So um, not too bad. This is a Pendleton flannel button down. I was excited to find this it's wool. Everyone, I think gets or a lot of people get excited about this brand. Uh, downside when I went to go take photos, I noticed that there is a let's see if I can find it a hole. I'm not sure if it's going to pick up right here, and that's definitely a bummer. So, I'm not a big wool person, uh, so I, I won't. This I could probably wear if I was a wool person, but just it's scratchy. This is this is very scratchy, so I'm probably just going to put this at a yard sale or re donate. But again, paid full price. I think all this is full price except this next item, and it was not cheap there. So I was hoping if the, the Pendleton was in good condition, I was hoping to get maybe 30 to 35 for that, but that's a bummer. And then I got this little Fabletics top. I thought the print was really cute. It's got the built-in bra. I have heard people say that the built-in bra does much better. Um, I haven't had much luck with any of the tanks that I that I have in my closet, but size small, Fabletics, good condition, cute style. Uh, only hoping to get, this was 50% off, so this I think was only a few dollars, three dollars to be exact. Uh, only hoping to get 15 to 20 for this, but still picked it up. And then this is the last item I found, and this is probably the only one that I was excited about because it's a uh, cute linen jacket. It's by Elizabeth and James. And if you see right here, this tag says $395. It's got these really cute sleeves. The stock photo for this jacket is absolutely adorable. But this was $11.99, which is what they price all their jackets at. And that's okay. I think a lot of jackets are worth that. Again, this is a store I would go back to to shop for myself. I probably wouldn't go back to it to find stuff to resell. Um, but it was it was a beautiful store. If you follow me on Instagram, I did post a picture of just the shoe area. And uh, I do know with Orange County, though, they are also one of the uh, best on Shop Goodwill. They put a lot of clothing, a lot of bags, a lot of shoes on their Shop Goodwill site. If you guys don't know about that site, it is a great site. I've, I've sourced off of it. I've shopped for myself off of it. Um, I'm a huge fan of that site. Uh, some Goodwills... They're all separated. Some of them are more active on it than others, and Orange County definitely is. They put a lot of designer stuff on there, which means they've got people pulling it from their stores. So with that said, this didn't have too high of comps, even though it is $3.95 original. Uh, I found some new with tags that had sold in the range of, um, I wanna say it was like 40 to 60. So I'm gonna hope for 40 to 50. I'll, you know, hopefully make about $15, $20, $20, $25 dollars on this and um, not too bad. But overall, if I were to get everything that I just showed you uh, from the three items that I can sell, since I can't sell that Pendleton, I'm looking at about $95 to $120 in sale price for those items. And uh, my dog's whimpering right there. <laughs> but uh, I, I I probably wouldn't go back. They do have a whole section on the side that is for auctions, and they were doing some auction type stuff. I might check that out at some point if I happen to be in the area, but um, compared to LA, the LA locations I've been to, uh, I was not super impressed. Uh, their store, incredibly impressive. Not worth it as a reseller perspective, but definitely as a shopper perspective. So I, I definitely would would stop by there just for my own shopping. And yeah, so glad to try out a new place. If you haven't, hit the like or subscribe button below, please do. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.